welcome to my channel. If you would like to subscribe, you'd be more than welcome. Today, we are going to make a pair of slippers um, to go for Haven with her little nightdress that we made. And we're just going to make these very cute little easy knitted slippers. Now, I'm not very good at knitting, but I do enjoy making little tiny things for the dolls. And I found a pattern, which is a free pattern, which you can get online from Lee and Pearl. And I will leave the link to it down below in the bottom, in the description below this video. So the first thing you want to do, now I've got a fluffy um, wool. If you've never knitted before, I would say go to a charity shop or something like that. Pick up a pair of knitting needles and um, just any old pair you want something about a size 10 uh, that's what I'm going to be using for this I'm not sure what it says on the pattern I'll have a look in a minute um, and you want to get just a plain uh, wool now they do sell wool and knitted needles into Poundland and you don't want anything which is fancy like this to start off with you want just a double knit plain wool but I'm going to do these this because this is particularly what my granddaughter is asked for so all I'm going to do is take my yarn and I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it around my finger, okay? And then I'm going to take this piece of the yarn and put it over the top like that. And then just going to pick up that piece of yarn there and tuck it over that one and pull this piece out. And this is the piece you want. Holding on to those two pieces like that, just pull it out. Take your needle and slip it on to that piece of wool okay so then I'm just going to pull that one so that sits on there and you've got a nice stitch now the size of your needle will um, it will make the stitches all the same size so whatever size needle you have that will make the size of your stitch and what I'm going to do now is to cast on and it says on the pattern to cast on just one second 18 stitches Okay, so now I'll show you how we do this. So I'm going to take our um, needle and I'm going to put it in and that will count as uh, stitch number one there, this one which is on the needle. Then I'm going to take our wool and we're going to put it around that right underneath um, needle and then pull that right one out and you want to pull it out a, a reasonable way holding on to the stitch here with your left finger you want to place that second stitch onto your needle. So now you've got two stitches. I'm going to do exactly the same again. Take it, place it around, pull it through, take it up, take it around the back and place it in. So now you've got three. And I shall keep going. I'll try and do it nice and slow so you can watch what I'm doing. There you go. So in through this side around that needle over there out and a round i'm going to try and do this next one watching on the screen so i can see exactly what you're seeing so i'm going to go underneath that needle there i'm going to pull my right needle back out take it around place it through the wall and pull it out so you've got one two three, four, five, six. So then another one. Seven. Right, so can you see, I've picked up a piece of wool from underneath. So if you find that you do that and you can't pull that out, just let it go and let it go in again. Don't pull your wool too tightly. You want, to, you want a reasonable tension, but not too much tension, okay? You want to have it loose enough that you can pull it in and out like this without any problem, okay? Oops, sorry. There we go. And then put that one on. So let's have a look how many we've got now. So two, four, six, eight, nine. So if you are doing this and it's your very first time, just take your time with this bit. This is the hardest bit of all that's casting on. All the rest of it is much, much easier to do. Okay. Once you've mastered this, this the art of this, then you're going to find the other bits much easier. And we're only doing 18 stitches, so it's not so bad. Don't be afraid to take your needle out 
if you think that you've done it wrong and do it again, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move this board for a second because my thing is catching on it. And yes, I've still got COVID and yes, I'm still in bed, but I'm trying to just do little tiny things. So I'm just gonna do it so that I can get a better shot for you. One. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. And eighteen. There you go. So that's it. So there's your stitches and you count try make sure you count them, make sure you've got eighteen too. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen stitches, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my um, needle into that very first stitch and I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to put it over that bottom needle and I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to pull the whole of the stitch off of the other needle. So we're going to transfer all the stitches from your left needle onto the right, just like that. So take it, put your stitch in and Pull it off. Let's do it again. So we're going to take the right needle and we're going to put it underneath the left, through the stitch, underneath the left needle. Take the thread around and pull it out and then pull it off. Okay, so just like that. And then in through there, around, take it and pull it off. In through there, round and pull it off, in through, pull it off, in through there, round and pull it off. I'm going to go all the way to the end doing that. And that basically is all that there is to it. And that is a knit stitch, okay? And then just check at the end of each row, if it's your first time doing it, that you still have only 18 stitches on your needle, okay? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, okay? So now we're going to do exactly the same, okay? So we're just going to... Push your uh, stitches up near to the end of that needle. You don't want this thread on this end to get too loose. You just want, but then you don't want to pull it. You want it like, like just a reasonable, can you see, sort of like, I haven't got it like pulled like that really tight. I've just got it loosely pulled like that and I'm holding it with my finger like that there. And I'm just going to place it around so that you can easily pull that stitch out. Okay, and we'll just go through it again. So we're going to put it in to the back of the stitch there, underneath that left needle, put my thread around and pull it out. And I'll do that once more. In, put my thread around and pull it out. Okay, and I'm just going to go to the end of this row. Just take your time. You don't have to do it quickly. Some uh, people knit really quickly and as you get more practiced at it, so you find that that will happen. But at the moment, if you're just starting, then this is just an easy way to make a little pair of booties. It's not going to take hardly any time to do it, okay? I'm doing it slowly, but you can probably, if you have um, knitted already, you'll probably whip them up in no time whatsoever, okay? So, and then once you've done that, Again, you can count and check that you've still got 18 stitches on your needle, okay? 
Right, so then we'll go back to the gain. So no, this one now becomes your left needle, and this one then will become your right needle, the one with nothing on it. And we're going to do that again until we have 12 rows of stitching on there. Okay, and what we want to do is can you see that you've got bumps on this side here? And if you turn it on the other side, you can see that there's a line of bumps, but they're just slightly further down. And what you want to do is each one of those bumps is a stitch. So what you want to do is you want six rows of bunch bumps going up like that on this side, and you want six rows of bumps going up on this side. And then keep going until you've got that, and that will mean you have 12 rows. Okay? And we will come back then. So I'm trying to get this nice and close to the camera and hopefully this will work and it's not going to go too blurry. But I hopefully you can see this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows on that side. And if you turn it over, the stitches on this side they are going to be the ones which you've, we've just counted are in this gap in here. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so that's the row in behind. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and this row here is your sixth row. So both with those both both together, that makes twelve rows all together. Okay, so we're going to just do exactly the same as we've been doing up to now. Um, but for the very first stitch, so you see you've got one stitch here and then you've got another stitch just behind it. And for this one, we're going to knit these two together. So what you want to do is to take your needle and you're going to slip it in there behind those two stitches. But what you want to make sure is that you've got both stitches on that needle and you're not coming through uh, out of there okay so you've got both stitches on your needle and you're just going to do exactly the same as you've done before take your thread around and just take that straight off your needle okay and that is called putting two uh, knitting two stitches together all right and now we're going to knit 14 more stitches okay so one right now we have two stitches left on the end all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take this stitch here and we're not going to knit it we're just going to take it onto our needle and we're going to pull it off okay and then what we're going to do is we are going to take this stitch and we're going to knit it okay and then that stitch there which we call the slip stitch and if it tells you to slip something, do a slip stitch, you take it and you just slip it onto the needle. We're going to take that slip stitch and we're going to place it right across the top of the needle. And what that does then is gives you that little bump there. Can you see? That's taking it away at that end and that will marry up, if you have a look, with your other end. You'll have a small bump there where you haven't got a stitch on each end. Okay? So then we would get ready and we would turn it over and then we will go and do the next one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to knit these next um, 16 stitches. We're going to knit them and this will be row 14. And all together we're going to want 22 rows of stitching. Okay, so that's with these um, 13. And then we're going to make... Uh, I can't think what it is for a minute. Another nine. So we need to make another nine rows. Okay. Sorry, my brain is very COVID, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going to just do exactly the same as we've done already. Just the plain knit one. And we should be able to just knit sixteen. And just keep on going like this until we you get to having twenty two rows. Okay. So here we go, we're almost finished now, nearly at the end. So we're going to just come along and count. So we've got one, two, three, 
sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on that side. And when you flip it over, you should have eleven on that side as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the one which is on the needle is eleven. Okay, so this is what we're going to do next. This will be row 23. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to knit three stitches. So I'm going to put it in and go one, two, and three. Okay, and then once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to knit two together. And we're going to do that the same as we did before. We're going to go right back into that stitch, which is before your leading stitch and we're going to put it in but making sure that we go we don't come out the back so we're going to, into the front of uh, into the back of both stitches or the front as it faces you okay something's not going right there that's right okay if you, you can sort of feel it if it doesn't go right it doesn't sort of you it, this pulls up nicely if you if it doesn't go right you'll feel that it doesn't come off the needle properly it sort of goes a bit peculiar okay so you've got that there so, and then the next thing uh, we need to do is knit sti six stitches. So one, two, and don't be long afraid to push your stitches along a bit. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. So now the next thing that we need to do is to slip one off. So we're going to do this will be the slip stitch, and then we're going to knit one. Okay, and then we're going to take our left needle and we're going to sorry, place it under that slip stitch which is there. Pick it up and we're going to lift it across that front one. Okay. There we go, and then we're going to knit the last three. One, two, and three. And there. So and then the next row, which is row 24, we're going to knit two. Make sure you've got the right uh, thread, okay? So put your needle in there, and we're going to knit two. One, and two. And then we're going to two, knit three together. So instead of going into two stitches, you know, usually you'd go into one stitch, instead of going into two to knit two together, we're going to want to go into three whole stitches, okay? So you're just going to have to wiggle that around until you can get it in, and you've got it into all three of the stitches. So it might be a little bit of a job getting it in there. Doesn't really want to go. There we go. And you need to make sure that your needle comes out down in under, okay? Pull it out. Keep that reasonably tight and then just pull that whole thing out. There you go. And you've got it. Okay, so you've knitted three stitches there together. Okay, and can you see those stitches? There they are, look. One, two, and three on there, all right? So now we are going to... Um, Knit four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to slip one slip stitch off the needle. Okay. So this is your slip stitch. And then we're going to knit two together. So you need to put that in just the two stitches this time. Put your thread around, pull it off, okay, there you go, and then you're going to go back and you're going to take that stitch there, and you're going to lift it right across the front of your needle, like that, okay, and then you've got two stitches left and we're just going to knit them, one, oh sorry, I put my needle the stitch, last stitch off, and two, and that's it, okay. So that's all the knitting part we need to be doing done. 
All right, and then we need to take our scissors and we need to leave an end about as long as what we already had. So a nice long end, about sort of 10 to 10 inches or, or so. And we're going to just chop, cut that off. There we go. Right, no. So that's that, so you can put your ball out the way. I've managed to do quite a bit with this ball uh, of wool. You see it's just a small one and um, I probably, you could probably get, I would say, four or five more pairs of slippers out of that small ball of wool. So it's quite a nice uh, thing to make, nice and easy, and you could make those up and give them away as little presents to your friends and things like that. So that works out quite good. So the next thing you need to get is a, so, uh, a wool needle, and this is particularly for um, knitting or crocheting and things like that. Um, and this is, has a needle and it has a great big end on it here, okay? Now they do sell these in Poundland and they're not very much at all, I think probably a pound each or maybe even less, all right? And we're going to take our um, needle and with this long end which has got the um, knitting on it and we don't, we want this one, we don't want this one down here at the bottom, all right? We're going to thread that through the end of our needle, okay? Now, what I usually do when I do it, I've got to be honest, is I fold it like that so I've got it in half and then I find that much easier because when you're trying to thread it through, you've got all those little ends and that. So you want to make sure you've got every piece of the wool going through it, all right? Just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and we're going to thread it through all of those stitches. And as you threaded it through the stitch, you can take your... Um, stitches off of your knitting needle and then put the next one on and then pull it off okay and then we're just going to do that all the way along okay let's keep going this is a very simple little pattern and I can made it really quickly um, you could probably definitely make up you know, a pair of these within less than an hour. Uh, if you are new to knitting, it might take you a little bit longer. Probably took me about 30 minutes, I should think. There we go, okay. So you've got them all um, in there together. I've just picked up a piece of Arwen's fur. Thank you, Arwen. Okay, I'll get that out later. Okay, and then what you've got to do now, this has got all those, those stitches in it. You want to pull that nice and tight. Okay, pull that together and you're going to just stitch some, a few stitches in there just to hold that nicely and stop that from coming out. Okay, now you got it like that and I don't know if you can see, this is now the shape of your shoe. This is where we did the little bit and it's got that little lump. Can you see the little lump there? That's where we're going to sew up to, so we're going to stitch across here until we get to that little lump there okay and then we're going to tie a knot so we're going to come here and we're just going to go up from one side to the other in each of the stitches like that i'm going to come in that side make sure you're going in both sides and we're going to just stitch along like that and then come along to the next one stitching along as you go along okay we're not take a second you'll be up there and you'll be done I don't mind doing the sewing bit. I, my mum always says that's her worst bit, is getting the sewing bit done. There we go. Okay. Just stitch up to that little bit there. We're nearly there. Just to there we're going. Right. Now, if you get choose a different size needle, the larger your needle is, the um, more, the bigger the um, shoe will come out. So if you wanted to make a much smaller one, say for a welly wisher or something like that, you could just make it on a smaller needle. Right, we're coming here now, and what I'm going to do now is just tie a knot. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to twist my thread here. Wait a minute, sorry, I've made it a bit of a tangle. Wait a minute, let's pull that one out. Okay, so I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to twist my thread just like we do when we're on sewing so we've got our thread like that and we're just going to twist it around once and then we're going to put our needle into the back just like that and there we go 
that's tied off okay and then you can bury your thread down into there just to hide out the way and then trim off what's left and then we're going to do the other side here at the back so we're just going to put our um, thread onto our needle Kind of, so all we're doing is exactly the same as we did on the front bit. We're just going to stitch these two sides together. So going in that side and in that side, all the way down, down to the heel. There we go. And when we get to the heel, we're just going to pop a little knot in, just the same as we did just now. Put my finger in it, twist it around, and then put the needle in for it. Oopsie, so there you go, pull it out right and then what I usually do is just bury a bit of my thread in there like that. There we go. And then I will chop it off. Okay. So that's it all sewn up. Okay. So here is our little slipper. And it stretches out quite a lot. I know it looks small, but it does stretch out quite a long way. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got a piece of swans down, and I'm going to fold the swans down in half like that. Um, and what you'll find this is that this is about an inch of swan, so you don't need a great deal to make a circle of it, it'll fluff out nicely. Okay, so what you'll find with swans down, all the ends come out. So, what I try and do is when I cut it I sort of push it down like that way on that side first and push it down the other way and then cut it and get this from eBay it's not very expensive um, I'm just gonna put a sewing needle through it and I've got some just ordinary ice cord thread I picked up but ordinary thread would be fine and I'm just gonna do a couple of stitches in this end okay there we go, and then I'm going to do a couple of stitches in this end as well, and that's going to pull my circle in together, like that. And you won't need to do too much just to get that in there. There we go. And then when you pull that this next stitch now, that should pull that all in together, if it's not caught up too much on the feathers, which it has. There we go. Okay, and so you've got a little ball. I just want to stone just like that and I'll just do a couple more stitches and you want to go through that it's um, where the ends of the feathers are caught on there so I'm just going to go in and out a few times just to hold that in place so here is the little button that I chose and I chose it because on um, Haven's dress she's just got uh, a bow pattern on the dress so I'm just going to stitch that on Sorry, I'm going to be caught up in my thread here. Um, stitch that on a couple of stitches and make sure that's held on nice and tight, especially if you're giving it to children. You don't want it that a child might put that in their mouth. And if you find that your spun stone is gathering up a bit, you can just push it through. So you want to go through the feathery bits and uh, into the button. And you want to do about five to six stitches at least in <laughs> there. Right, right into my finger. Okay, so once you've got that done, you're going to just take your little shoe and you're going to open it up and we're going to pop it in so it's going roughly into about the, where it sort of starts to sit. We're just going to pop it in there like that, pull that through and that should come and sit on there nicely. Make sure that you've got your bow facing downwards if you're using a button or a, um, a bead you want to make sure that if it has got like writing or something on it that it is the right way up you don't want it um, to go in a different direction and I'm just going to stitch this on now uh, carefully without stabbing myself um, and I shall do you know about 10 stitches probably just to hold that in place I don't want that coming off when the children are playing with it I do know that some of uh, my friends use hot glue when they're sticking on their um, swans down but I really struggle with hot glue I think what it is is my hands don't work as well as everybody else's and I think probably it just uh, 
I'm not quick enough to use it, maybe. There we go, so I'm going to put about 10 stitches in there, making sure. Can you see that one of those ends have come out? So I'm just going to make sure that's gone down in. And I'll keep doing that, and then I'll knot it off, and my little shoe will be finished. So here we are. These are the shoes, the little slippers I've made. They're really cute. Uh, Haven looks great in them. They look really nice and they match her nighty very well because of the ribbon pattern on it. I really like, hope you like this video. Goodbye.